Hello everyone, welcome back to Aurelia City in City Skylines. So, we built the university last time. It was the first part of a larger campus. It was built using the futuristic, very modern looking concept, using the round buildings with some variations, car free inside, public transport all around, and lots of open spaces with trees and decorations. Today we will build a second part of the university, which is going to be more of a research center, also with public transport and detailing. The second part is going to be on the island in the main river, and with this project we will finish the island, so let's go. Okay, so what are we going to do first? We are going to do, well, some destruction, because we already did uh, a long time ago, I think this was the same episode, as uh, the uh, first uh, interchange area that we did in here and uh, we are now going to completely destroy all that we have built in that episode. I'm not really sure what's the number but uh, I mentioned it in that uh, in that uh, colored intersection part where I already mentioned how I built it a long time ago, the infrastructure I built a long time ago so it uh, it was kind of inevitable that it's going to change because it was just not going to be how I envisioned it back in the day, all right? So that's kind of like a lesson for the future, that I should not really prepare the infrastructure that much in advance because the plans are just going to change and I'm inevitably just going to destroy it and do something different as with this place. So what exactly are we doing here? Now the island in the river, it was created uh, artificially in the first place. If you remember a long, long time ago, the island was just, uh, well, what it now is, it was part of the normal land. I just created that second branch of the river, again, artificially, because I just wanted to make the river much larger and even the reservoir on the main dam, I just wanted to have it much, much bigger. But uh, the island also was quite large and this is the end of the city, this is the edge of the city. So. I didn't really want to put some kind of a crazy high density stuff in here and at the same time I don't really want to do any kind of uh, low density suburbs in this area either. So I was really struggling to find uh, a suitable project for this place and a university area I think that was suggested for the island a very very long time ago and I was prepared to do that. So finally we are going to we are going to have the university in here but the university is just not going to be as large as the rest of the open area on the island. So I decided that the island area is just going to get much smaller. I really wanted to keep this uh, highway infrastructure in place though. Uh, obviously changed to kind of accommodate those terrain changes that I'm also going to do. But uh, the highway interchange, some kind of a split from the highway coming into the industrial zone, that was necessary because this place, um, you know, just needs that. Some kind of an entrance if people are entering this place, this part of the city uh, from outside of the city or maybe they might be even arriving here by the highway, using the highway from like the other edge of the city or something like that, okay? So, uh, I decided that we are going to just ditch the, uh, the idea of that, uh, well, it was kind of like a trumpet interchange before, but now I'm just going to turn it into a more standard looking one and uh, obviously a three-way interchange, as you can see. And uh, we are just going to do some very conventional construction of the highways. Uh, I was not really trying to do it all that super precise. As you could have seen, I used the technique of doing the loop, just uh, like copying a shape of a circle. The circle was obviously the procedural object uh, uh, cylinder, I think. And uh, yeah, so I just copied the shape and uh, did all these ramps, uh, obviously using the intersection marking tools on that main split with those orange markings. I really like those. And uh, obviously node controller as well to create those nice uh, mergers and splits from the main direction. Now, the, uh, the loop of the interchange is going to be on a separate island. It's going to be like a rocky island. I'm going to decorate it right now. I'm going to put the terrain much higher in some places, going to do some of these ridges or valleys or something. And then I'm just going to decorate it with lots of rocks, lots of uh, decals like dirt and stone and stuff, and also trees, lots of trees. And it's going to look, it's going to fill like a great area on this, uh, on this piece of land. And at the same time, it's going to look very, very good. 
I also rebuilt this uh, bridge, which was uh, going over the river and uh, following just the original path into the industrial zone. Although the the uh, direction of the bridge was kind of slightly altered, that, so that's why I wanted to do it. Now, this bridge is a separate network. It's supposed to be just a normal road, really, that you're supposed to connect to some kind of a... Uh, wide avenue or something, but now that we have the node controller it's just much easier to use this network as only the base and then put your own highway on top of it and kind of scale the the size, the width of the bridge with the node controller more. So that's very very easy these days. Uh, back in the day I was uh, trying to do like a normal highway going on the bridge and uh, since the bridge was kind of wide I just put like a pedestrian path uh, through it. The original idea was that there's going to be some kind of an elevator and the pedestrian path is then going to continue into the industrial zone, but uh, not really because there's just not going to be any construction like buildings around this highway so the pedestrian path would not make you know that much sense. All right, So I decided to remove that and just uh, decrease the width of the bridge structure itself. And also at the sides of the bridge I just created those procedural objects, uh, concrete blocks to just, uh, you know, wrap it up somehow. All right, so that's going to be all for that infrastructure. And uh, now we are going to turn our attention to the rest of the island that we still have here. And we're going to do the research center slash university, second part of the university. So we already started building some of this uh, in the last episode, if you remember. And now that I remember, I didn't really comment much about it. So at first I used those elementary schools. Now those are elementary schools, the like a somehow star pattern looking, you know, some un asymmetrical star pattern uh, shape of those buildings. So those are elementary schools, I think, uh, from the workshop. And uh, I just decided to use multiple of them and do these kinds of shapes because well, they are not symmetrical, but you can work with the shapes to create uh, these kinds of like a like a connections, right? These bridges between the various segments. So I was experimenting with that on the live stream, if you remember, if you've been there. I was first trying to put a lot more of those buildings together and create like a messy looking uh, huge structure. But this eventually felt like uh, like it might be enough. And the rest of this area is just going to be made of uh, different looking uh, structures, mostly like high schools or kinds of research centers, like actually research centers in the game or universities, obviously, functionally. But uh, this is supposed to be done like this so that it's going to more uh, create the idea that this place is probably older. It's probably been uh, rebuilt or built or just expanded, uh, you know, in much... Uh, much bigger like a time period so some of these buildings are much older and as the time progressed uh, you know people or the university owners or something administration just decided to add some buildings here and there and obviously with different uh, styles so that's going to be the major contrast between the new part of the campus which is just a unified uniform looking place with uh, just the just the apple campus building that i just uh, decided to do some variations of, but uh, otherwise it's looking very similar, right? But this place is just going to be different, different kinds of buildings and different kinds of styles. Uh, one uh, very common factor though is going to be this uh, shuttle path for the Oli buses. So that's going to continue all the way through this area and it's kind of going to just continue to the tip of the island and loop around and go back. So similarly to the other side. And also, we have to somehow sort out this uh, end of the of the lines of the trams because we do have a tram line that was just cutting through the entire length of the island, and uh, it has to end here somewhere. At first, it was ending by the interchange, as you could have seen. Uh, I destroyed that at the beginning of the episode, but now it's going to go pretty much to the center of this research area. And uh, it's going to, again, loop around just like the shuttle buses are going to do. And uh, there's going to be a parking lot inside of that loop. And this is something that I really wanted to do because, again, we have the node controller. We have all these means of manipulating various networks. So you can manipulate even the parking lot roads. And you can use, for example, the really wide parking lot roads. And if you want them to fit like a specific shape, so for example, in that place, I had like a like a somehow wedge shape that I needed to fill. 
So I can just stretch one end of that road and then fiddle with some of those direction parameters so that uh, the edges are actually going to be straight and it's going to look really, really good. And what's the best part about that is it's going to be functional. The road is going to retain all its functionality so I can even place the actual parking spots inside that road. Obviously, it's not going to you know, match all that well with the shape because the parking spaces kind of need to be rectangular, but the entire parking lot area is not. So there are going to be some gaps here and there, but uh, I really like how the overall shape is just possible to do like this. And like a tiny bit of a spoiler I'm going to do here, I have used this concept uh, somewhere else in the future of the city expansion. So. I really like manipulating these kinds of uh, these kinds of very wide roads to also f also serve as some sort of fillers of these large areas because inside of that tram loop that was pretty much the goal to just uh, fill that place. Now, I think I have already done all the necessary infrastructure, at least the basics inside the university area. And now I'm going to finish this uh, edge of the entire place. So this is, of course, uh, a very old area, actually. This is the, I'm not really sure what it, the episode was called, something like a island tram transfer station, I think. It was kind of popular. And uh, it's, a, it's a really nice looking place, I should add. It's, uh, it's a transfer station between the line that we are going with uh, to the university and also the line that uh, goes from the island city. So using the rail whales and the one that's going to continue over the river uh, afterwards. Now, it's also like a multi-level area and it has all kinds of pedestrian access uh, points into the rest of the island. So uh, one part that I really wanted to connect was this entrance, this entrance gate into the university. And again, these elementary schools, they are perfect for that because uh, some portions of these buildings are like a, like a cantilever structure or something which uh, makes it possible if you combine the buildings from you know two sides you're going to create like a bridge right between the structures so that's just nicely forming uh, like a gate area that uh, i can just put the pedestrian path through from that transfer station so again just like with the previous campus area even this one is going to be very uh, accessible by public transport and even by walking so you can easily just go to the island on foot from all kinds of places on the city. By the way, that bridge that goes from that transfer station, you can't really see it in here, but you probably remember it. Uh, that's mostly, most probably going to be connected to the end of the pedestrian highway. So theoretically, you could go from all, all the way from this place, all the way from this research center, you could probably just go all the way to the airport, to the other edge of the city. I haven't really done that yet, any kind of preparations for connecting that pedestrian highway, but uh, it's most likely going to be there. I'm probably going to, going to even change the bridge or maybe do like a separate bridge later for the pedestrian highway. Haven't really decided yet, but uh, that's like a very distant uh, project because we first need to finish pretty much the rest of the city on the other side of the river in order to do that project and call it done. Anyway, that's uh, mostly the infrastructure done. Also, I was uh, doing some extension of those residential areas that I also did on the different part of the island, but I kind of wanted to have some continuity between those uh, areas. So right where the railway line cuts the island in half pretty much, then I also decided that the residential buildings are going to be on both sides because I kind of like it when uh, these infrastructure projects don't uh, form like barriers of these different uh, structure projects, right? So that's just uh, you know something to make this place look more believable, maybe more natural. I don't know. Anyway, that's done. And the edge of the university with that is done as well. So now here comes the detailing and all these different uh, all these different retaining walls and uh, like elevation differences, cover ups and stuff because we'd really need to do that. Now, this place is built on, let's say, two different levels. We have the upper level or the standard level, let's say, which is where all the buildings are from the research center and even this tram loop. But then we also have that lower level, which is coming from the transfer station, where it also has a lower level for the roads, for all the, all the car traffic and some shops and stuff like that. Now, the trams, they are coming 
on the on the same level from the transfer station so they're just keeping to that uh, standard level where the buildings are but uh, the road is sunken so the entrance into that parking lot which is inside that loop is going to be under this uh, shuttle bus road and there are going to be just some intersections with uh, with the trams and with the pedestrian paths but under all of this we're going to have that car infrastructure now just as before we have uh, we have all the pedestrian paths running through this area there's not going to be any car infrastructure like uh, inside apart from that central parking lot again maybe this part of the university or the research center was older maybe back in the day they just wanted to do it like this didn't really want to bother with some of those like underground parking garages like we did in that modern part okay so uh, this sunken area for the roads is just again presenting a nice opportunity to create some of these elements like the retaining walls the surfaces with procedural objects uh, some elevated uh, elevated tracks for the tram and uh, maybe even some of those beams that i really like using every time we have some uh, retaining walls right next to roads or on both sides of roads so that's very nice also this uh, underpass let's say for the cars is uh, also a very nice opportunity to do some uh, interesting detailing with retaining walls surfaces and the like so we had a lot of those shadows on the upper roads that i had to cover with a lot of procedural object surfaces uh, even some like recolored asphalt for the red color of the shuttle bus road but uh, apart from all these things it was kind of a straightforward uh, build it was quite quite clear how it needs to be and it turned out looking really good obviously it's going to be more decorated with like trees or mostly flowers in that area so it's going to look very good now in here on the very tip of the island i wanted to build maybe some kind of a student housing or like a dorm i'm not really sure how it's uh, called properly in english but this is going to be more of the european style i suppose not really those uh, like campus uh, Again, I'm not really sure what they are even called in the United States or North America in general, I guess. But uh, this is going to be just like a high-density student housing. It's not really going to be on the that much large area. So it's just going to be, you know, places for students to just, uh, you know, sleep in, basically, if they are not studying or working in the research center or something like that. And uh, it's probably going to house quite a lot of students. It obviously has those shuttle bus uh, paths going all around it. Unfortunately, I have to recolor them after i'm done here because i did all those new intersections so that's going to be the only place where uh, like uh, like vehicles are going to enter that area obviously students if they own if they own cars or maybe they just arrived by a car they can easily just leave it at that uh, big parking lot and just walk like a short distance into that uh, into the housing area also, this part of the university is maybe some kind of a sports center. Makes sense that it's close to the housing places. And uh, it might also be some kind of a, like a faculty, different faculty of the university more aimed at, uh, I don't know, sports or something like that, right? So that building is absolutely perfect for it. I think in the game, it's, um, it's a high school maybe or even elementary school. I'm not exactly sure, but doesn't really matter. I kept it functional. Uh, all of these buildings are functional apart from that central tall building that I had to convert into PO because I wanted to sunk it into the terrain. I didn't really exactly like how tall it was and I didn't exactly like the first floor. So I had to sunk it into the terrain, but later I'm going to put all those cube houses inside. So there is going to be a lot of pedestrian traffic going into it and it's, it's just going to improve the overall, you know, believability of this place. And uh, it's just going to bring more people to walk on the streets. So I already started doing some of those uh, tree detailing on the sides again, just so we are doing the places similarly to other projects around here. I was also putting a lot of these rocks on the edges of the island, especially where the student housing is, because that's the place of the island, which is kind of uh, tall above the water. So some kind of cliffs around the area might make sense. Maybe the island is a bit more artificial Maybe it wasn't exactly like this. I think someone actually suggested to me on Discord, was it? Or somewhere else in the comments, maybe? That uh, Aurelia might have been like a mining area. Like it might have had a lot of mines. And that's why now it has a lot of these reservoirs. Maybe the reservoirs were just made to kind of reclaim the, the land and make it nicer looking again. 
but maybe some of these islands in the river, maybe they might be artificially created as a result of that mining operation. Maybe they were just uh, just stacking some some rocks in here, you know, dirt or whatever, creating these islands. Uh, who knows? It's a kind of an interesting idea to think about it this way. It might actually justify a lot of the layouts of this entire area, how there are just so many lakes and uh, these dams everywhere. And uh, overall, this entire map is just a mountain, right? It has the mountains all around. So it might make sense. It might make sense to think about it this way. Uh, but I don't really plan on doing any kind of uh, like remnants of that operation or something like that. I think regarding industry, we are, well, not completely done, but uh, almost done. I think the most volume of the industry is uh, is kind of done. I'm still planning on doing maybe some agricultural uh, area, but uh, the very heavy industry, that's probably done. Uh, in a couple of episodes, we are going to do some industry, but it's not really going to be that large. It's going to be more like a, like a high-tech uh, factory, maybe even like a continuation of some research uh, capacities of the city. Anyway, guys, we are almost uh, done with all of this. I'm just going to do some detailing. I also included some like a small row of residential buildings in there to mostly symbolize that we are on the edge of the city. I did something very similar in the last episode on the edge of, uh, of the upper lake. Now, also, I want to use uh, the same detailing as I did with the main university. So I'm using the same tall trees. Maybe they were just planted in like one project or something. And uh, again, they are just going to create uh, like a lot of shade underneath them, uh, especially around the paths. And I created also like a central park right next to that tram loop. So that might be a very open area for just people to uh, chill outside of the, you know, lectures and stuff. And also all of these places underneath the elementary schools right there, for example, I turned with the surface painter to grass. This is the transition before and after. As you can see, a good chunk of the island was cut away. And also that place that we put water through, it's aiming directly against those spillways, as you can see. So maybe that makes more sense if the upper lake is uh, going to start overflowing. Obviously, all the water is just uh, or would start crashing from the spillways directly to the side of the island. So uh, this way it has like a path to go through. So maybe it's more believable that way, but uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. I really just wanted to shorten the island to uh, to just finish it, to just wrap it up, because uh, this feels perfect for the completion of the island. As you can see, the trams are now nicely ending by that loop, just going to the parking lot area. Uh, it's very busy, by the way. It's very, very busy. That's very nice. I also put a lot of invisible paths connecting everything inside that loop area, also the parking lot. And even the parking lot is uh, is very busy. So uh, it wasn't really busy at first. I was really waiting a lot of time in game, in game time to just fill the parking lot so that in the cinematics, the parking lot is going to be not completely empty, even though it still is a bit empty. You might even, you might think of this time period in Aurelia as some kind of like a summer holiday so that a lot of the students are away at home or something like that, okay? Also, there was the shot of that uh, finished interchange place. I really like how that one turned out. We are going to do something similar in the next episode. We also have to build one more interchange on this uh, branch of the highway, which is going to connect back into some of the areas that we're going to start building in the next episode. This detailing for the underpass for the entrance to the parking lot is something that I really, really like. And as you can also see, uh, I didn't exactly do the parking spots completely standardized. At the end of the parking lot where it's the widest, I also did some of those uh, like a perpendicular parking uh, parking spots and it's working as you can see people are parking on all of these and even when the vehicles are moving uh, f through the parking lot it doesn't look all that bad they are not really crashing into the parked cars or going off the road uh, at least not so much so you know overall quite a success i should say uh, this uh, elementary school on the side, I had to convert into procedural objects because I had to do some kind of detailing there for the cliff. As you can tell, there's like a tiny retaining wall that's holding the building uh, from falling over to the cliff. And also I finished the key in there and I put an elevator that's right by that red uh, road. 
the research center uh, area is looking really good i'd say it has that dome which might be some kind of a reactor research reactor or something and the central building uh, is a hospital building in in the game uh, originally maybe it's like a some kind of a research center for like biomedicine or something like that if you liked today's video, feel free to click the thumbs up button, write a comment, share the video and subscribe if you are new here. Big thanks to all the channel supporters, especially the channel members for their direct support of what I do here. If you also want to become a channel member, you can click the join button below or the link in the description. Next Aurelia episode, we will stay in this general area, but we will move to the other side of the river. We will finish some of the highway infrastructure, we will build a big train station with public transport hub, and we are also going to wrap up the old industrial zone. So stay tuned for that, take care, and goodbye.